Kyrie Irving's game was on all night like the porch light. Ooh. The Nets Bars. taking down the Hornets, courtesy of 50 minutes. points from Kyrie Irving on just 19 field goal attempts. That's, That's the fewest FGAs in a 50-point game in the league in the last 27 years. And oh, by the way, he also hit nine threes in that game. But we all saw a different side of Kyrie's game in this one. He attempted 10 catch and shoot field goals Tuesday. He made nine of them. He entered the game shooting just 38% on catch and shoot to the season. That's according to Second Spectrum. As a result, he averaged a season low 2.8 dribbles before the shot. So Kyrie can do it multiple ways, but that's a rare fashion in which he got to 50 points for the fifth time in his career. Let me ask you this, my esteemed panel of experts. There was this narrative as it relates to the Nets that they can't win a championship unless obviously Kevin Durant is healthy, but Kyrie Irving is available even for home games as they get deeper and deeper into the playoffs. So with that said, Shanae, who is the most important net as it relates to a championship? Is it Kyrie or KD? Oh, this is tricky because you can easily say that Kevin Durant is the consistent piece that will give you scoring, and he's the unguardable player in the NBA, the most unguardable with his skill set. But Kyrie being available potentially at home games, that could put the icing on the cake. You know, I'm, t I'm tied on this largely because of KD, and I think I actually side more with KD because you need him playing his best basketball to win a championship, but Kyrie is important in those possessions, the possession game of the playoffs, meaning, all right, final shot. I mean, he feels confident. You have two options out there where most teams hope to have one. So I guess to answer your question, Eves, yes. I'm saying KD is a necessity, but Kyrie is an icing on the cake. Mm. Why are you afraid? I'm, <laughs> Take I'm, it. I'm going with Kevin Durant, and he showed us that last year. Just, just think about it. He was one big stinking toe away <laughs> from sending the Milwaukee Bucks well, home. And he didn't even, I mean, because you know about like athletes, especially males. That's a whole nother story, Shanae. But listen, when we talk about Kevin Durant, we talk about a guy that is capable of putting a team on his back and coming out with wins. Just remember, when James Harden and Kyrie Irving were out, KD had elevated his game at that point forward position and took it to another level. So when I think about who's the most important, yes. it's Kevin Durant. Okay. The question is, success with the Nets hinges most on, now look, when you have Kevin Durant, you always have a chance. That's how great he is. He will keep you in any game. He will he will dominate most things. But if we're going to talk about them winning a championship, because that's how the Brooklyn Nets will define their success over this era, the KD, the Kyrie era, it all hinges on Ben Simmons. In my, in my opinion, if Ben Simmons gets on the court and mm. can give you anything, now you add that to the superstar of KD. Now, because this is my thing, you don't know what the availability is uh, of Kyrie. It could right. be any could be out when once Ben Simmons is available on the floor he's available for all the games so now KD gets you an opportunity to be in every game and yep. then you have Ben Simmons that could either put you over the hump and can they, and then the icing on the cake like Janae says is what Kyrie is but the success on that team if Ben Simmons can come and be a all-star caliber player with KD being an all like an MVP caliber player yeah. that's when they become a problem and during the playoffs you know the game slows down and his number one strength is defense yes. and I think that's the biggest you know thing that will push this Nets team forward to be able to compete with the East that is stacked. Well and don't forget about the guys like Patty Mills and the guys like that Seth Curdy that will benefit from having Ben create for them. That's not that's Wide not KD shots. strong point. That's not Kyrie strong point. That is Ben's strong point. He has created more yeah, open yeah, shots yeah, for anybody I, since I he turned into the league. That, that's so, all good but we still haven't seen Ben Simmons agreed. play. Agreed. So we're going to say June. the success so of the even, team even, 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 on The that. last time we saw Ben Simmons play he was available and he still wasn't available. Oh, okay, but if you just, last thing I'll say yeah. about this is that if KD is on the court and Kyrie is, let's say, 50%, can they win a championship? The answer is no. The answer is no. They don't have enough to win right. a championship with the teams that they're going to be going against. In sense. the eighth spot, they don't have the path or if not. If Ben comes back and is 70%, you get Kyrie for half the time and KD 100% of the time, now that eight could so all of a sudden saying, take ben over Simmons, one. You're saying Ben Simmons moved the needle for you that much? Yes, the guy that was second in, in the NBA uh, Defensive Player of the Year last year and the guy that can create more open and shots Brooklyn, for guys. And in Brooklyn, his offense is going to be Because you won't need offense. You won't need offense from him. You yes. will only need high-level defense and shot creation. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.